Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will create an automation project which will provide answer to bank customers for their banking related queries. Now as the robots will answer the question to customers, this automation will save a lot of time for bank employees. So let's get started. And for this automation, I'm going to use this AI fabric feature of UiPath. In case you don't know what is AI fabric and how to set up AI fabric in UiPath, please check out my previous video for a quick reference. So let's move to AI fabric. Now this first project we created in our previous session, we will create a new project today. So for that move to create project give a project name let's give the project name as bank q a let's give a project description here this project will provide answer to customers for their banking related questions so this project is going to provide answer to customers for their banking related questions and click on create now here let's move to ML packages and since we wish to work on already existing ML package, let's go with this out of the box package. And here we have multiples of options present. I will go with the open source packages language comprehension. And here from the language comprehension, I will choose this question answering model. This model is an open source model. The model predicts answer to a question based on some paragraph context. So in the input, this model takes a paragraph and a question in a JSON format. So here you see there is an example also present. There is the paragraph. This is the complete paragraph. And this is the question which here did Lincoln pass away. And this is the paragraph for the Abraham Lincoln. So the input it will take a paragraph and a related question and in the output it will provide the answer to the question in the JSON format. So both input and output this model takes in a JSON format. So this is the description for this question answering model. We will go with this model for our project. So let's choose a package version from here. So there is only one package version. Let's go with this 1.0 and hit submit. And here we'll have to provide the name for our ML package. So let's provide a name here. P for package P bank q and a and the package version we have chosen as 1.0. This is the description. This is the input description and this is the output description. Let's hit submit and here we created our ML package. Now since this question answering model which we choose, let me move back here. The question answering model which we choose from here is not retrainable. So here you see this question answering model is not retrainable. Now since this is not retrainable, we do not require to provide the data set and pipelines. So we created the ML package then we will directly create the ML skill. So let's move to ML skill and here create a new skill. So here let's provide the skill name. I will provide the skill name as S for skill bank q &A. And from here we'll choose the package. This is the package which we just created. So let's choose this one. We have to select the package major version. So let's select the major version. Then select the minor version and let's provide a skill description. So here I will provide the description as this skill will provide answers based on paragraph context. And since I have the enterprise trial license, I do not have the GPU. So let's skip this GPU. We do not require to enable GPU for this project. And let's click on create. So here you see we created this ML skill. The status as of now is deploying. After some time, this status will change to deployed. It will be deployed to orchestrator. So let's move to orchestrator to check whether we get this ML skill there or not. So I'll move to home 
and let's open the orchestrator. Let's move to tenant here and from here we are going to move to ML skill and this is the ML skill which we just created as underscore bank QNA. The status here is deploying as of now after some time the status will change here to available once the deployment is complete. As you see these already existing ML skills are present here the status here is available. In a similar way this ML skill will also become available in some time. So our first part of the task is done. We created the ML package and ML skill. Now we will move to UiPath Studio to leverage this ML skill. We will create a workflow which will use this ML skill. So let's move to UiPath and let's build our project here. Open the main workflow. Now here first of all I'm going to add the workflow type as flowchart. Let me add this flowchart here. Let's open this one and here I'm going to add a sequence. Right click and set as start node. And as I mentioned the question answer model which we selected provides answer to questions based on some paragraph. So I have some paragraph with me for this loan and deposit. So I'm going to use these two paragraphs in our project. You can add as many paragraphs and as many information in the paragraph according to your requirement. So let me take this loan information from here and we'll provide it as a variable. So create a variable from here. I will give the name as paragraph loan and here in the default I will provide the complete paragraph. Similarly let's take the information for deposit. This is the paragraph for deposit. So I will create another variable here paragraph deposit and in the default I will provide the complete paragraph for deposit. So we created these two variables paragraph loan and paragraph deposit which have the loan and deposit information. Now let's open this sequence here and here I'm going to add the input dialog. So let me add this input dialog activity and here let's provide the dialog title. So let's provide the title as question box and input label I'm going to provide as please provide your question here. So the user will get this input dialog with the label please provide your question here and user will provide his or her question. Now input type in this case I'm going to select as text box and the question entered by the user will be stored inside a variable. So right click and create a variable here and let's give the name as user question. So the user question uh, variable created. Let me change the scope here to flowchart. And after this input dialog I will take one more sequence. The project will be more readable if we add the sequence here. So and this sequence name I'm going to provide as process question and provide answer. And in this sequence we will add the activities which will provide the answer to the user questions using the ML skill which we created here. So if we move to orchestrator and if I refresh this page. So you see now this ML skill which we created as underscore bank QNA the status here is changed to available. That means this ML skill has been deployed. Now to use this ML skill in UiPath Studio we'll have to use an activity that is ML skill activity which is present inside a package. So you'll have to install the package if you are using that ML skill activity for the first time. So to install the package move to all packages and search for 
uipath.ml services. So you'll have to install this package uipath.ml services.activities and click on install. And let's hit save. So let's open this sequence and here I'm going to search for the ML skill activity now. So let me search for ML skill. So this is the ML skill activity present. Let me add this ML skill activity here. Now from this drop down, if you open this drop down, here you will get all the ML skills which has been deployed to the orchestrator. So all the skills which has been deployed to the orchestrator will be present here. We will work with S bank q &A. So let's take this one. And as I already mentioned, this ML skill, the ML package which we have selected from here. Let me move to this question answering uh, model which we selected. So as I mentioned, this question answering model will take the input in JSON format with a paragraph. This one is the paragraph and a question and this is the question. Now we have the paragraph and question here. We created two paragraph variables and a question. So we have the paragraph and question present with us, but we don't have these paragraph in and question as a JSON format. So we'll have to convert this paragraph and a question. We'll have to prepare this paragraph and question in our JSON format. Now before converting that into JSON format, what we will do, we will add this paragraph and question in a data table. Later on, we will convert that data table into a JSON format. So let me show you how we can do that. Let me collapse this as of now. We will work on this ML skill a bit later. First of all, we will build a data table. So let me add the activity build data table. Let me add it here. Let's open this data table and we'll create the uh, data table with two columns. First one will be the paragraph and the second one will be the question. Make sure that you take the exact similar word that is this paragraph and this question. So let me create the data table here and I will edit this column name. Let me give the column name as paragraph. And in the max length, let's provide it minus one and let's click on OK. And the data table we have taken as string. So let's click on OK. And for column two, I'm going to take the column name as question. Data type will be string as well here and the maximum length will be minus one. So let's click on OK. We created this data table. Let's click on OK and the result, the data table will be stored as a here data table variable. Let's provide the data table name as DT. Now we will add the row to this data table. So I'm going to add the activity add data row. So let me add this add data row activity here. And the row value we will provide as the variables. Let me open this one. We will take the variables paragraph loan and user question in the add rate data row activity. We will look into this paragraph deposit a bit later. As of now, let's go with this paragraph loan. So let's move to array row and inside the curly braces here, I'm going to provide this paragraph loan comma user input. And let's remove this dot and click on OK. Now here we'll have to provide the data table as well. So let's provide the data table which we just created. So here the error is coming. Let me see what is the error. There is a dot here as well. So let's remove this one and all done. So let's click on OK. So now we have this data table DT with a paragraph and a question. Next, we will convert this data table into JSON format. So for that, we'll have to install a package. So again, move to manage packages. Let's move to all package. And here let's search for data table to JSON. 
so we will go with this data table to json package provided by sandeep so thanks to sandeep for putting all the efforts this package is going to be really helpful for us so let's select this one and click on install and let's save this now we will have the data table to json activity here so let me search for that data table to json so we have this data table to json activity now so let me add this activity here and in this activity i'm going to take the data table as dt which holds the paragraph and question and let's assign the output to variable let's say json value so this activity is going to convert the data table to a json format now here we'll have to do a slight modification as as i said the input format taken by this model is something like this in the json format let me write it here for better understanding so this will be the input format taken by this question answering model but the activity this data table to json activity will provide the the json value in the format of inside this square bracket so you will get the value something like this using the activity which we added so we'll have to replace this one we'll have to remove this uh, square bracket so how to do that so for that i'm going to add an assign activity let me add this assign activity here and in the value in the value i'm going to take this json value which is the output of this data table to json activity and first i will convert it to string so put a dot and select to string select to string from here now since this has been converted to string we can use the replace function so i'm going to use this replace function and what i want to replace first i want to replace this starting bracket and i want to replace this with a null value so inside the double quotes do not provide anything next we'll have to uh, replace this end bracket as well this one so for that i will write this replace function again so put a dot and add this replace function and this time let's select this bracket and again i want to replace it with a null value so inside the double quotes do not provide anything so the complete expression is ready by this expression uh, this bracket and this one will be removed so let's click on okay and the result i'm going to assign to a variable so create a variable as input ml skill as this one will be used as the input to this ml skill activity so now we are good to work on this ml skill activity let's open this one and in the input i'm going to provide this input ml skill uh, variable which we just created and the output we will get as a json response so create a output variable here i'm going to give the variable name as output ml skill so we created this variable output ml skill now this output variable output ml skill will hold the answer of user question but in json format as mentioned here in this question answering model so we will get the output in this format now to fetch this answer that is 1865 or any other questions answer which we provide we'll have to deserialize this output variable so again we'll have to use this deserialize json act activity for which we'll have to install a package so let's move to manage packages and move to all packages and here we will search for the package uipath.web.activity so we will select this package and let's install this one and let's hit save 
so the job for this ml skill activity is done let's collapse this one and here we will search for deserialized json so we'll use this deserialized json activity let me add it here now this deserialized json activity will take the input as json string which will be the output ml skill variable and it will store the results to as a json object so create a variable let's give the variable name as deserialized json and to fetch the answer from this variable i'm going to again use the assign activity let me add this assign activity here and here in the value i'm going to provide the expression as deserialized json dot select token select token and this answer is a token this answer is a token so i'm going to provide this answer inside this select token so provide this answer here and at the end we'll convert into string so hit dot and select two string from here and let's click on okay and we'll assign the result to a variable say the variable name as answer so this will be the answer final answer to the user question so i'm going to add a message box to display the answer let me add a message box here and in the text i'm going to write first of all i will display the question as well so i'm going to provide inside the double quotes question is plus and then we'll provide the user question then put a plus again and here i'm going to write answer is put a plus and then i will provide this answer variable so this is the complete message which will be displayed inside the message box so let's click on okay so our project is ready to provide answers for loan related questions i will run this project to see how it works and later on this project i will modify to ask questions related to other topics that is the uh, deposit one so let me quickly run this project to see how it works let's save this project and let's run this and my project is running now and here we get this input dialog please provide your question here now as this model works to provide answers based on a particular paragraph so i'm going to provide questions from this loan paragraph which we have added as a variable so let's say that i provide the question as i will provide the question as what are personal loan interest rates as it is mentioned here personal loan personal loan interest rate starts at uh, 10.99% so here i'm asking a question what are personal loan interest rate it should provide me the answer as 10.99% so let's see how it works so let's hit okay and here you see Uh, the message displayed as question is what are personal loan interest rate and answer is 10.99%. So we got the com correct answer using this uh, question answering AI model. So let's click on OK. So our project is working fine. Now we will modify this project to provide answers on multiple topics. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all I will delete this as a start node and in this workflow first of all I'm going to provide user the options to choose the topics for the question so for that I'm going to use input dialog so let me add this input dialog here and in this input dialog let's provide a dialog title let's provide the title as options and label i'm going to provide as 
welcome to our banking please choose from the following options and here we will select the input type as multiple choice and here we'll provide the input options so for the options i'm going to select the options as an array so here i'm going to provide inside the curly braces as loan deposit and exit so the user can choose to ask questions from loan or deposit or user can also choose to exit the workflow you can add as many options you want to add in the project according to the requirement so we'll go with these three options let's click on ok and the value entered by the user that is either loan deposit or exit will be stored in a variable so create a variable here i will give the name as user input so our input dialog is ready next i will add a flow decision flow decision so let me add this flow decision here and here i am going to provide the condition as user input which could be either a loan deposit or exit user input dot equals exit and at the beginning i'm going to add the not this condition says user input not equal to exit now if this condition is false if this condition is false that means user input is equal to exit then simply i want to display a message i want to display a message as thank you for contacting us have a nice day so this message box will be displayed and the workflow will exit but if this condition is true that means user has chosen either loan or deposit so in that case what we will do so let's open this sequence so this sequence we have created to work only for loan but the user can choose either loan or deposit so we'll have to do a slight modification in the project so here i'm going to add this if activity so let me add this if activity here and here i'm going to provide the condition as let me first check whether the variable is present or not user input so user input is present so here i'm going to provide the condition as if user input dot equals if user input dot equals loan if you if user input dot equals loan in that case i want to add this data row which will add the row value as paragraph loan and user question so that is fine i want to change the display name add data row let me give the name as add data row loan and let me copy this one and here i will paste it if this condition is false that means if user input is not equal to loan that means user input is deposit in that case i want to add the row value as this one will be changed we want to provide the paragraph as uh, paragraph deposit variable which we created and the user question will be same so let's click on okay and let's change the display name at data row deposit so this is the very slight modification required here nothing else is required uh, uh, input dialog will be displayed to provide the question so user will provide the question either from loan or deposit then according to the user input whether the user has taken loan or deposit the data the paragraph and the user question will be added to either this add data row or from this add data row and accordingly this ml skill activity this ml skill activity will be executed and we will get our answer here inside this message box 
now in this message box let me add an expression to display this one in a new line so here i'm going to add environment environment dot new line let's hit enter and put a plus so by this this question will be displayed in the first line and this answer will be displayed in the second line so let's click on ok let's move to flowchart again and since the user could have multiple queries the user could have asked the multiple questions so we'll provide the options to the user multiple times so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to connect these two so that's it our project is ready now let me quickly run this project to see how it works so let's run it and my project is running now so you see we got multiple options here inside this dialog box it says welcome to our banking please choose from the following options so first let's go with the loan let's click on ok and here we'll have to provide a question and again the question will be based on this paragraph this workflow will provide answer to the questions on the basis of paragraphs so we'll provide the question based on this paragraph so i'm going to provide the question here as what are personal loan interest rates let's click on okay and accordingly the message box displayed the question is what are personal loan interest rate and the answer is 10.99% which is the correct one so let's click on okay and then you see we got this uh, options dialog box again so let's say that this time i choose deposit let's click on okay and here we'll have to provide the question now this time we'll have to provide questions based on this deposit paragraph as uh, uh, the workflow is going to take the paragraph deposit variable for the deposit questions so let me ask a question let me ask the question as what are the interest rates provided for savings account and let's hit okay and the answer should be 4% as visible from here and we got this message box with the correct answer so here it says the question is what are the interest rates provided for savings account and the answer is 4% which is the correct one so let's hit okay again and again it is asking for us to choose options from here now let's say that i want to exit from this workflow i do not have any further questions so i'll hit exit and let's click on okay and here it says thank you for contacting us have a nice day so let's hit okay and our workflow is exited so our project is working fine and you see this question answering model is going to be very helpful in several use cases and not only this question answering model the all the other ml packages provided in this ai fabric is going to be very helpful we will learn about different uh, open source packages in our next session and that's all for this session guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye